how to benefit from bad things in life. That's the topic we're going to talk about today. So before we move on, please make sure you join and subscribe to our YouTube channel and also to my email list so that you can continue to get videos from me, even those that we don't share on the social media platforms. So for that, go to iramsay.com. Just give us your name and email address and you will be subscribed to my list. All right. So let's talk about uh, how to benefit from bad things in life. It's such an oxymoron. I know a lot of you probably just said, what? Bad things? We just don't want bad things in life. Well, I have some news for you. That's not going to happen. If you are a living, breathing human being, you're going to have good things happen to you and you're going to have bad things happen to you. And in my opinion, some of the most valuable lessons that we get actually come from bad things in life. So we label them as good or bad. You have to understand that our brain is designed to basically things that cause us pain, label them as bad and then Things that give us pleasure, label them as good. So we want more of good, less of bad. But Allah Ta'ala in His divine wisdom gives us a balance of both. We get good and the bad. Now, I can tell you from my personal experience that all the hardships that I faced in a, at a very early age, after 21 to almost 50 years of age, was filled with hardships. Um, so I would say about maybe 30 years. And those are the events in my life that shaped me, that made me become who I am today. And I really like who I am today, Alhamdulillah. I like this person. And I would not have become this person had those things not happened to me. Somebody interviewed me not too long ago and he asked me on his interview, you know, after he had made me go through all the different stories of my life and the different stages, and he said, OK, if the Iram of today could go back to the Iram of 25 years old or 30 years old, what would she, she say to her? Would she change anything? And I said, no, I would not even say much to that Iram, except maybe I'll, I would give her a hug and say everything is going to be OK. But I would not say anything to her because I don't want anything to change the trajectory of her life. Because the events that that Iram went through shaped this Iram, and I don't want anything to change because now today when I look back I am so grateful to Allah Ta'ala I'm so grateful because a those were the events that made me who I am that forced me to go within and find that gold that potential that Allah Ta'ala knew he had put inside me but I was not aware of it those events forced me to go inside and tap into that potential we never do these things if life is good because we're too lazy, frankly. Why, why worry about such stuff? It takes a lot of effort to go deep within. When you're down on your knees, everything is destroyed around you and you have nothing but yourself to rely on. Then you go deep, deep, deep within and you touch those parts of yourself that you didn't even know existed. And from those parts, you gain the strength to stand up again and fight the world and you become a stronger person. So I'm so grateful for those events. And number two, that when I look back and I thought I was alone, I thought I was broken, I thought it was now, that's it, it's the end of it, it's impossible to get back again. When I now look back, I saw that Allah Ta'ala held me in his palm every step of the way. I was never left alone. Allah Pak never abandoned me. When I thought that, oh, I did this action and because of this action, now I am able to change my life. I'm able to fight. I'm able to do this. None of it was me. None of it. It was all Allah Ta'ala silently, lovingly guiding me, holding me, nurturing me and then showing me the way. So that's if you're going through any kind of hardship in your life, please remember that. That only khair comes from Allah. Only khair. Our minds are designed to translate that event into either good or bad but from Allah only khair comes even hardship is meant to bring something good in our lives we just don't you know the packaging of the gift the gift is inside the packaging may look ugly to our eyes but the gift is inside so when we throw away the package we're throwing away the gift also so never do that ask Allah Ta'ala for help May he give you perseverance so that you can get through this hard time and just keep asking him, keep connecting with him, keep asking him for guidance, his mercy, his love. It will end. This situation will also pass 
And remember, whatever doesn't break you only makes you stronger. You know, I um, have this beautiful community of my VIP clients called the Eagle Tribe. And very, very few uh, uh, people are in it because we, it's by invitation only. And one of them was sharing her life story, which maybe one day I will ask her to share with you guys as well. But she was talking about how from, from birth, from, from the moment she was born, because she was, of course, a girl and her mother didn't want any more girls. She wanted a son. Her mother refused to even hold her. So from the moment that she was born, her hardship started. And then her mother wanted to give her up for adoption because she didn't want a daughter. And you know, long story short, she did end up staying with her parents, but she never ever got the acceptance, the nurturing, the love that she deserved as a human child. And then she saw extreme hardships where her sister was abducted and forced to marry someone that she didn't want to. And then she saw one of her sisters get beaten to death almost, near death by uh, her husband. And, and at a very young age, even though she was the youngest, she had to become the son. She had to grow up, take care of her sisters, take care of her brother, uh, parents. And, and she had to continue to fight and just when you think that life was getting better, she moved to America, got married, and then ended up in an abusive marriage herself and, and had two daughters. And now when she talks about her life, she is divorced, she's single after fighting all these battles. When I talk to her about her life, which I tell you, one harrowing experience after another. I have not heard a more harrowing story than hers because it's just filled with one tragedy after another. And when I ask her now, would you change anything in your life? She said, no, not a single thing. Because I cry when I see those events, how much Allah loved me. That's her experience today. She feels that she was so loved by Allah and is still so loved by Allah that she, she's speechless. She said, I am speechless at how much mercy he has on me, how much neema he has given me. I am so grateful to my Allah Ta'ala, I love him so much that I just can't believe how did I deserve such a great life. You see, this is the perspective that completely changes everything. I know people who have had much less adversity in their lives and they all they can talk about is negativity and how life has been so unfair and why is God unfair and why this and why that. And then I see people like her whose lives are filled with adversity and they are in a state of such bliss and calm and happiness and joy and gratitude and love with Allah Ta'ala. So please understand it is all here. It is your perspective. Change your perspective. Change your life. Thank you for watching.